What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at an extremely unique game and that is Destructor Among Debris. This one is from Team Instant Defeat and published by Rock Game and it did launch today on Steam. Now, the launch price is, the, or the regular retail price is $9.99. However, to celebrate the launch, the game is currently on sale for 20% off or $7.99. Now, let's jump into what this game is all about. So, take a game similar to, like, Breakout that you used to play. Uh, add in a, a little bit of a paddle ball or air hockey um, aesthetic to it, but then make it a post-apocalyptic military shooter. That's what this game is. So it's definitely arcade style. It's super, super fun and addicting. Can be quite challenging. Gets Im immensely chaotic and is just worth a look, no doubt. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on in and check out a run here. Now, as I mentioned, the game does have a free demo available right now on Steam. So you can download it and check it out for free. Uh, the game also features a bit of a roguelite element where your progression is not permanent. So here we are. Uh, we are over to the right side of the field, and this is kind of the air hockey element to it. Uh, collect the blue stuff to purchase perks. So we will be gaining perks as we go throughout the game. And then, of course, it's a shooter element. So uh, we're going to start off by shooting our uh, ball to get things started. And one of the differences here are the baddies are going to be shooting back. So there's going to be lots of projectiles going. Uh, that was the blue stuff that the uh, tutorial messages are referring to there. Um, the blue stuff, of course, is not going to pass. Uh, just like in air hockey, your ball, of course, will bounce off of the back. Now, as you saw, we got that light blue power up there and the baddies are starting to shoot at us. But now we have got a uh, projectile to shoot back. Uh, that one was the crossbow power up. You see, we actually got another one. Let's go ahead and take a shot right there in the middle. And uh, you see, we opened up a nice big hole there with our crossbow. Now the turrets in there are destructible. So we're gonna wanna get those burned out as quickly as possible. And then in the process, we wanna collect as many of those blue balls that we can uh, as those are a currency that we're going to be used to purchase power-ups throughout each run. Uh, we've now got that turret uh, kind of wide open here, and we'll be able to take some shots at it. I think we might need to get to another one of those crossbow power-ups. And then let's blast that turret and try to avoid these balls at the same time. Now this, of course, is one of the starter missions. So, you know, it, the game ramps up in difficulty, gets much, much tougher, and gets crazy chaotic. Uh, the different types of power-up shots available are pretty diverse and just a lot of fun, uh, no doubt. Uh, we got another power-up, a crossbow power-up there, so we'll take out that other turret. And then now we just need to get through the rest of the main uh, objectives here on this particular map. Uh, it does feature semi-real-life physics, so you are going to, um, you know, the ball is going to react as you feel it should react with uh, a physics bounce. Uh, we actually got quite a bit on that particular one. All right, so, and this is the rogue-like element. So as we go through, we are going to get different power-ups. We've got simple repair. Uh, your, your playable character is called the round thingy of destruction. So we didn't take any damage, so we don't need to repair it. However, one of the power ups we can choose, you see, we got 67 of the currency so we can get an enhanced ball balls deal more damage. Simple as that. That is a good thing as, uh, that is going to be just quite a bit of the shots. Now, as you see, the power ups that you get are going to be displayed down here below. These power-ups only last for this run. So when I die, uh, these power-ups will no longer be available. And that is the roguelike element. Uh, of course, you can refresh the shop uh, or reroll the perks as well uh, if you have enough currency. But let's go ahead and continue on. 
you see things have scaled up just a little bit more. There's uh, a lot more of a defense. There's a lot more things that are going to shoot back at me. And we still have those turrets down there. Uh, as you see here, purchase perks only remain for the current level set or until you get destroyed. So as I'm progressing through this particular uh, set of maps, I will keep those perks or if I die, the perks get reset. Uh, let's go ahead and start off uh, right up in there with a nice little corner shot here and uh, start whittling away. Now, our ball is going to be doing a little bit more damage now, which is quite nice. And we should be able to get through that outer structure relatively quickly here with it. Now, as soon as the alarms go off, of course, the turrets are going to start taking shots at me. And, uh, you know, that's when things tend to get a little chaotic. And there they come. Oh, and I took a shot, sadly. So you see my health bar. Oh, I took another one. I took another one thinking it was the ball. That was bad. Uh, my health bar is displayed directly on um, my paddle itself. And let's see. Ooh, ooh. Almost got wrecked there. I was trying to save this crossbow, but you know what? Let's just blast that one. Let's see if we can get a little opening here. And then we've got another crossbow too. And there we go. We've got an opening down at the bottom now. And we've got another crossbow too sitting there ready to be collected. Oh, made it through the opening, but didn't get much damage done in there. If I get one of these turrets down, it's going to help things out quite a bit. See if that will bounce around for a little while in there. Oh, crap, man. That one didn't even shoot me. I ran into it. It's definitely the game is quite challenging, but one, more, one thing that I am always uh, a fan of is those games that give you that just one more feel. And uh, this game, without question, gives you that just one more feel. There's no doubt about it. Um, what do we want to do? I guess we can blast through to that other turret, maybe. Get a little bit of an angle going there. And that one is wide open now. So hopefully we can get some shots in there. Another crossbow, we'll take it. And then let's just full on nuke that turret. We got us another power up. Maybe we can blast out the center here. There we go. Now we're making a little progress. We should be able to get through this one. And there it is. So that map is cleared as well. Now that time we earned a little bit more. We got 95. Uh, now we do, we could use a repair this time. Or we've got Juggernaut. Balls go right through structures if they are hit hard enough. Now, the important thing to note here is your velocity with your paddle hitting the ball, just like in a game of air hockey, does matter. So Juggernaut would increase that. I actually have enough to buy both. So let's just buy both of these. Let's get that repair off. Uh, we'll get the Juggernaut. And then let's see what we can do in this next one. Don't let the balls fall into the shredder. Okay, so now here we are actually protecting. Once again, it's got that air hockey vibe to it. So we don't want the balls to go into the shredder here. Let's see. Let's start off. Something like this. Hey, quite armored up up front. Ooh, oh no, I almost put it in the shredder myself. And here come the guns. I am uh, not feeling good about this one. Got a feeling I'm going to get quite wrecked here. Get through some of this outside stuff. Oh, no, we got two balls. Oh, wow, just barely deflected that one off. I need to get a bounce going in there. We got another crossbow that power up. There we go. We got the crossbow power up. I need to get the right angle.
Now you see that time I didn't use my crossbow power up, so if you don't use it, you lose it. So if you get a second one, you don't get two, so you want to make sure to use your uh, crossbow power ups uh, as you get them. Well, we got inside there, but we didn't really get much damage done. I was hoping to get some bounces. Here we get a different power up. And that one was actually a repair. And good thing, because I just took mad damage. Oof. Trying to get that, uh, that turret mainly. If we can get another shot on that turret, it'll be ideal. It's definitely a very different game, and it's got, you know, it's got the arcade aesthetic to it. So it's like instant fun. You know, that's the good... Oh, no! Since I lost a ball... Shit. Oh, no! I almost lost another one. The starting shield protected me. See, it looks like I lost the crossbow, too, when I lost that ball. Oh, and I'm gonna... Oh, I got the crossbow. <laughs> a little sketch. But we got through that one. It was very, very sketchy. All right. So we got through that one. We have unlocked enhanced arrows. After years of high-tech research and develops crossbow, arrows finally deal more damage. So very, very nice. So now, if we head back out, of course, we unlocked a new map. This next one is Bumpers going to be quite a few maps to play through. Each individual map is going to be its own experience. Um, if you go back uh, out here to the unlocked upgrades, it's going to show you all the things that you have unlocked throughout your play. So let's jump in and check out bumpers. Uh, this one uh, is probably going to steamroll me here. We'll uh, check it out. Oh, yeah. We got a crossbow up front. We got another crossbow in the middle. Uh, we got no, um, no backside to sweat, so that's a good thing. Uh, so we don't have to worry as much about the balls. Trying to get that crossbow, of course. You can get the ball really cooking really quick. All right, so we destroyed those front bumpers. We got, oh, man. Just tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. It's hard when the things get flying. It's very difficult to uh, not grab a, um, or not go for the, the fireball, which, of course, is doing damage to you. It just becomes instinct to mouse over to it. We can get that next crossbow, I think, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Man, I'm taking way too many shots here. Let's grab that. Get another crossbow shot, and then let's take that right at that turret. That should help things out a little bit. And you see the little bonus caches there to unlock. Blast through that one as well. And, well, I'm going to need to get down in behind it here. I think we want to take a shot. Ooh, crap. Take a shot upward, maybe? No. Wrong, wrong trajectory. Oh, wow, that crossbow really launched through there. So let's. Yep, we got the last one anyway. All right. So what do we get? We collected ninety six. We got a repair. Uh, both of our choices are repair. So this, you know, we could repair twice. Um, however, yeah, actually, it would give us a full bar. This is showing our health right here. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and repair twice. We'll get back up to full health and continue along through this one. Oh, man, check this out. Okay, so we got the protection area again in the back. Uh, got some nice little corridors. We should be able to really get some shots breaking out of here. Um, let's go in like that. And see what happens here. Wow, we're doing pretty good here as far as keeping the ball inside. We got another crossbow. Oh no, I missed. I shot too quick. I was trying to get that little mine unlocked there. Let's just go right at the center here. And it looks like they got like some art. Oh no. I always did better than this at air hockey. Let's blast that one. See if we can get some shots in on that turret. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just knocked... <laughs> knocked a cup. Luckily, it was an empty cup. Flailing around in my room here. So my computer room so much, I just knocked a, a cup off of the table. Or off of my desk. All right, let's get that one. Oh, man. Taking big damage. This is not my run here. This one uh, I am getting just beat up on. All right, now we got that turret exposed anyway. Let's see if we can put it down. Oh, and I just self... Self-harm. The self-harm is unreal. Oh man, they are definitely... Oh no, and that was it. That was the end of my life. Sadly. Sadly, sadly. And oh, we have the defeat. Boo. Now, we obviously didn't clear that map. It shows you um, what stage you cleared through the map. Uh, like the tutorial had three different stages. The prologue had three different stages. This one, Bumpers. I was on the first stage. I didn't even clear through the first one. So you got three different stages there as well. Now, let's take a look through some of the game settings. Um, I am always very, very picky with what settings are available in the game. And the game has the settings that I personally would look for. Uh, screen shake, I am not a massive fan of. Some people love it, some people don't. So you can turn your sc screen shake down or even make it less intense if you uh, didn't want it really, really intense. If the game is a little bit too dark with that post-apocalyptic aesthetic, uh, you, of course, can adjust the gamma. Uh, we got basic uh, resolution and V-Sync settings, but more importantly, we do have a separate music and sound effects volume. Uh, to me, personally, that is a very, very big aspect of every game, so super, super stoked to see that one. Now, as you play through the game, as I mentioned, it does have that um, roguelike type element to the game. So when we jump back into bumpers again and start, we are not going to have all of those power-ups that we would have earned on our previous run. Now, obviously, I got my butt walloped and I didn't really have any power-ups on my previous run. So we have nothing there to compare to. However, when we jump back in to try the map again, it is starting the map fresh, and the choices that we'll get for power-ups are going to be random uh, throughout, and it's going to make it so each experience is a little bit different. So that is a look at the structure among debris. Uh, once again, this one is from Team Instant Defeat, and it was published by Rock Game. Just launched today on Steam. There will be links down in the description below. And then, once again, as a celebration for the launch of the game, the game is 20% off right now. Uh, that sale is going to run for about a week. And then, additionally, this video was sponsored through Indie Boost for celebrating the launch of the game. But that will do it for now. This one is well worth looking out, uh, taking a peek at. It's super fun, y'all. 
uh, it's an arcade game. So arcade games give you that instant gratification where you can just jump in, uh, start playing and, you know, not having to focus so much on like uh, your gear sets or long time permanent progression. You get that instant gratification of jumping in and playing a little bit right now. But that will do it for now. That was Destructure Among Debris. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful week, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Thank you.